Physio. I'm Neha Singh and I'm a student of Bachelors of Physiotherapy. So, as you all know, I make video all about physiotherapy on the topic which interests me and help you guys out. So, few days back, I had a seminar on a global physiotherapy program uh, in which we were told about uh, uh, the post graduation program and the working license focusing on USA and Canada i have already made a video on physiotherapy in australia and a whole series in detail about physiotherapy in canada don't forget to check it out i will put the link in the description and today in this video i am going to tell you about the physiotherapy in usa which i recently got to know the interesting points which i never knew so i will try to share those information with you and help you guys a bit to know more about physiotherapy in usa so to work in usa the minimum requirement is bpt that is bachelor's in physiotherapy and to work in usa as a registered physical therapist you have to give a exam that is npte it is a national based exam all over the usa so you don't have to give exam for each and every state this is the plus point of this exam so to appear in this license exam the minimum requirement is the bpt then the you have to send your degree for the evaluation as to check whether your degree is equivalent to the usa requirement of the physical therapy then you have to give the english proficiency exam that is toefl now uh, remember ielts is not in usa the english proficiency exam is only toefl 12 in usa once your degree is evaluated you have to register with the federal organization of physical therapy of usa now let me tell you few more points for example if you want to work as a registered physical therapist now the question is of oh, which visa i have to appear for either student visa if you are going for masters or like do i have to uh, apply for the work visa then the work visa is h1v it is the work visa for indians then the third point which was new to me that is uh, in usa the percentage is not used they use the gpa method as in india whenever we get the result we get the result in the form of percentage so in uh, usa the percentage is uh, calculated and converted into the gpa you can check your uh, gpa by the ece platform or wps platform so if you are planning to move abroad to the us then uh, you have to make sure that you have scored 65 percentage above in each and every year of your pt then for credit points more the credit points the higher your salary the higher your demand it is mpt is also required to practice in usa as a pt for additional credit points fifth if you want to move to us after doing your bachelor's for your further studies for example masters of physiotherapy or dpt then dpt is offered three years and to know more about the mpt and dpt and the difference and the similarity uh, then you can refer the youtube channel facts pt in that channel it has explained very nicely about the pt in usa uh, the mpt and dpt topic then cardio ortho neuro these all fields need special requirements for example certain hour of uh, clinical experience before working so you have to make sure that you fulfill those number of hours of experience by working in us itself person with physical disability or with severe disease are not allowed to migrate in usa so before thinking of migrating to usa you have to go through a whole body checkup that's it for this video i tried to share as much as information i got to know about physiotherapy in usa i hope it helps you don't forget to check out my other videos i will see you in my next video bye bye take care